Are your dishes still dirty after you wash them in the dishwasher? Does your dishwasher have a dingy bad smell to it? Or is there standing water after you run a cycle? If you answered yes to one of these questions, then stick around because in today's video, I'm going to show you how to properly clean your dishwasher with confidence. So first I'm going to talk about why you would want to clean your dishwasher. Then I'm going to talk about how to actually clean it and we're going to take care of the standing water during that section of the video. Thirdly, I'm going to talk about how often you should clean your dishwasher. And then finally, we're going to finish off the video topping it all off. I'm going to share with you a cleaning hack that will leave your dishes extra shiny every time you run a cycle. So first off, why should you clean your dishwasher? Well, over time, bits of food, water minerals, grease, undissolved detergents build up on your dishwasher's filter and the interior walls. This is what causes the bad smell and it's why your dishware and your glassware come out dirty. They come out with spots on them and they come out a lot of times with a film on the dishes. Another reason to clean your dishwasher is if you allow the food and grime to continually build up, it can damage the dishwasher's filter and the pump, which means costly repairs for you. Bottom line, you don't want to treat your dishwasher like a garbage disposal. Now let's talk about how to actually clean the dishwasher. The root cause of the bad smell is the leftover food. This is why I recommend rinsing off any excess food from your silverware, your plates, your pots and pans before you actually load them inside. To properly clean the dishwasher, there are seven areas we need to focus on. The door, the interior walls, the gasket, the spinning arms, the drain, the filter with its innards, and the exterior. Before we begin the process, always run the dishwasher on its hottest cycle to allow the steam to loosen up all the grease and gunk before we actually start to clean. While everything is nice and hot and steamy, the first thing we want to look at are the spinning arms. This is pretty simple. You just want to make sure the holes are not clogged up with mineral buildup. If you find the holes are clogged, then just use a toothpick to clean them. The second thing we need to look at is the dishwasher filter with its innards. If your filter isn't clean, then nothing else will be either. Having food all in your dishwasher filter is like having a garbage disposal right inside. My filter is located underneath my spinning arm here on the bottom. To remove the spinning arm, I just pull straight up and it pops right off. And as you can see, I just start to disassemble this dishwasher filter. It comes off in these parts here. If you need help disassembling your filter, then just check your owner's manual. It should have detailed instructions on how to disassemble it. And what I'm going to end up doing, what you do is you just soak these parts in a, a sink or in a plastic tub of hot water and Dawn dish soap. Or any dish soap will do. You're just going to let them soak to remove any type of grease and, and food, of course, while you're doing the rest of the process and cleaning the rest of the dishwasher. While you're at it, you can take your utensil holder basket and you can soak it in there as well. If the utensil holder basket is too big, then just go ahead and take it under the sink or something. Remove any food particles from it. Now step three of this process, while your dishwasher filter is soaking and the drain is exposed, take a good look at that drain trap, right? And make sure there's no food in there. If you have food in that drain, then clear it out. It's also common to find stickers in the drain and sometimes pieces of dishes that have broken off, pieces of glass and stuff down in that drain. Now, if you have standing water in your dishwasher, then this is the part of the video that we're going to take care of that. So listen up. If your dishwasher has standing water inside of it, it's okay to have a little bit of water inside the drain trap. But if you have standing water all in the base of the dishwasher, then it is a problem that needs to be fixed. Let me show you. So right here is our dishwasher, and here is our sink. If you look inside the drain, you'll see on my dishwasher I have three screws. You need to unscrew those and make sure there is no food in that drain trap. If there's food, clean it out. And if, you, if this doesn't solve the issue, then here is the other problem. There are two hoses right here. This one sends the water, the small one sends the water to the dishwasher. This one right here is the drain hose. If this drain hose is clogged with food or clogged for whatever reason, 
then that's going to cause water backup it's, and your dishwasher is not going to drain properly. So make sure this hose right here is not clogged. Now if you determine that the drain hose is not clogged and the drain trap is not clogged, you've cleaned that and it still has standing water, then more than likely the pump that pumps all the water out of the dishwasher has gone bad. And if that's the case, then you're going to have to call a repairman and he's either going to have to put you in a new pump or you're going to have to get a new dishwasher. I'm sorry. Step four of this cleaning process is to deal with the rubber gasket that goes around the dishwasher that seals it shut. To clean it, just use you a damp cloth with a little bit of vinegar. You can also put a little bit of dish soap in that cloth and just start scrubbing that gasket. You can also use an old toothbrush to scrub that gasket. So do it really well, get all the sides, get all the edges, and it'll make that gasket nice and fresh. The next part we need to look at is the actual dishwasher door with the button panel. To clean it, just take your dishcloth with your Dawn dish soap or your vinegar. Go all around the interior of the, of the door on the sides to remove any type of black mold that you might find. While you are at it, you also want to clean the handle. You want to clean the button panel. And just start wiping it all down, removing greasy fingerprints and any kind of stuck on food. If you have any types of cracks or crevices, you can use your toothpick to scrape those out. And finally, to finish off the inside of the dishwasher, we need to do the interior walls and also the racks, of course, that you put the dishes on. This is the simplest part of the whole process. We're just going to run the dishwasher. But before we run the dishwasher, make sure you reassemble the filter. Make sure it's finished soaking, you've, you've washed it under the sink in the water, you've gotten all the grease and grime off, you've cleaned it completely. <clears throat> and then you want to reassemble it back into the dishwasher. You never want to run the dishwasher without the filter because you can really mess it up and also you will void your warranty. So reassemble the filter and to clean the interior walls and the racks of the dishwasher, what you need to do is run the dishwasher on its longest and hottest cycle with one cup of vinegar. So fill you up a cup of vinegar, place it in the tray rack, or just pour the cup of vinegar in the base of the dishwasher and run it on its longest and hottest cycle, and that will clean the interior walls as well as the racks. A little bonus to that, if for whatever reason the cycle finishes and you still have a little dingy bad smell inside, then what you do is run one cup of baking soda, same thing, place the cup of baking soda on the rack or pour it in the base and run the dishwasher with that baking soda on its longest and hottest cycle and that will, it'll whiten up the dishwasher one, but also it will remove any lingering smell. Last part we need to take a look at is the exterior of the dishwasher, the, you know, the exterior of the door, and how you clean that is going to depend on the finish you have, whether it's stainless steel or it's just black like mine. Whatever the case, clean it however you know to clean it. Remove the fingerprints, remove any dog slobber, um, stuck on food remnants. If it's stainless steel, use your stainless steel cleaner. And if you have a dishwasher kind of like my finish, then just take you, your, your cloth with some dish soap and just wipe it down and clean it. Pretty simple. <laughs> Next, I want to talk about how often you should clean your dishwasher. So little maintenance, little housekeeping. Truth is, is that it's subjective. It really just depends on how often you use it. I would say whenever you see visible food inside, remove it immediately. So do that as needed. And as far as the exterior is concerned, I would say do that as needed as well. But as a general rule of thumb, I would say do this deep cleaning process every one to two months. Or if you start to smell, if it starts to stink before then, then go ahead and do it right then and there. So clean your filter, wipe down your gasket, make sure your drain ain't clogged, etc. I also want to mention that if you would leave your door open after a cycle, it will allow the steam to escape and it will prevent mold and mildew from forming and it will also prevent and help with the stale odor. Also, as I promised, I want to leave you with a little cleaning hack that will leave those dishes extra shiny every time you run a cycle. So every time you wash your dishes, there's a spot right next to where you put the dishwashing detergent called a rinse aid. Open that up and fill it up with vinegar and run it with your cycle along with your dishwashing detergent and it'll leave those dishes extra sparkling crispy. 
So that's it, my friends. How to clean your dishwasher. Thanks so much for checking out the video. If you liked it, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you like this video, you'll probably like this video right here entitled Eight Kitchen Cleaning Tips to Make Your Life Easier. My friends, if your dishwasher is dirty, then implement the steps I've outlined in this video and you will be one step closer to becoming the domesticated cleaning savage that I know you are.